told us it wasn't possible. No your support. They said runes couldn't exist before the happening. They were wrong. Now, pre-runes are a multi-billion dollar ecosystem and the most explosive trend in Bitcoin's history. It all started right here. With RuneX. I'm Dante Scott, the CEO and co-founder of RuneX and the inventor of pre-runes. Essentially what pre-runes are, are the precursor assets to the actual runes protocol created by Casey Rotomore, who's also the creator of Ordinals. Uh, we invented the first pre-rune back on November 7th, 2023. We had the idea to create a runes token that could be pre-mined before the actual runes protocol came about. And once we did this, it sparked a trend in the community. Other projects started releasing, creating their own versions of pre-rune assets. And now pre-runes are a multi-billion dollar asset class with the actual runes protocol dropping in a few days from now on the legendary Bitcoin halving. Today is the day we reveal the product that we've been building really for years now, and that is the Rex L2 blockchain. What this is, is the world's first social blockchain. What we wanna do is we wanna eliminate smart contracts. We hate smart contracts. We hate the fact that people can get drained. We hate the fact that smart contracts are so tough to create, and we want to fundamentally destroy the current paradigm of Web3 and replace it with what we call social contracts. A social contract is similar to a smart contract, except it is not written in code whatsoever. Social contracts are just written in plain English. They have significantly more use cases than smart contracts. Anybody on planet Earth, as long as you can read and write, can create social contracts and participate in the Rex blockchain network. Here is an example use case of the social contract system. So let's take two parties, Jimmy and Sally, that want to place a bet against each other of two Bitcoin on the winner of a football game. It is stored, secured with the Rex blockchain. They are assigned an escrow agent, Charlie. Charlie will take care of their transaction, guide them along, and make sure that there are no cheaters involved. And additionally, all three parties will be providing collateral just in case somebody decides to be a bad actor during the transaction. All three parties involved will give a signature. If all three parties agree, let's say that Jimmy is the winner of the football game, then Jimmy will be given his reward and the escrow will be given uh, a fee for helping secure the transaction. But let's say in the circumstance that the three parties do not agree and Sally decides to open a dispute because she thinks that she won the game, that is where the Rex blockchain validators come into play. These group of validators, their job is to review all of the transaction disputes that occur within the Rex blockchain ecosystem and decide in a decentralized manner who is the proper recipient of tokens on the finalization of the transaction. In this circumstance, they would review the proof and the social contract provided from Jimmy and Sally's bet. They will decide unanimously who the proper winner should be. And in the case that there's any bad actors within the transaction, for example, if Sally was lying or tried to commit some type of scam, Sally could be penalized by losing her collateral as well as some honor points if it is deemed necessary by the group of validators. If a transaction goes perfectly smooth, Let's say Jimmy won, 
The prize pool in this case would be sent to Jimmy. A fee would be given to the escrow agent and a fee also given to the validators for helping to secure the Rex blockchain and social contract ecosystem in a fully decentralized manner. And that is how social contracts work on the Rex blockchain. Runex token in this example transaction actually isn't being traded anywhere. It's Bitcoin for Bitcoin. Where the Runex token is used is to vote for the validators within the network. So the, the key point is we wanna keep the system decentralized and trustless. So people can use the Runex token to vote for the validators. The validator's job is to review these transaction disputes as they happen and resolve them properly. Another benefit of the RuneX platform is the escrow system itself. So what we've got to experiment with over the past months is the ability for anybody within the entire ecosystem to register as an escrow agent and help the community facilitate their transactions. And by doing so, these escrow agents can earn a fee in the process. And what's super cool is escrows within RuneX, just during our, our beta testing platform, have earned somewhere near $100,000 just for confirming and you know helping assist the transactions of users within the platform. So we think, especially since RuneX up until this point has been a closed off VIP access only platform, that opening this up to the world is gonna provide a ton of job opportunities for people to, to earn money within the Web3 space. This is something that isn't possible with any other platforms within Web3 at all, period. And the best part is, Becoming an escrow agent costs zero dollars. You can make money completely on your phone, helping confirm transactions while you're chilling, watching Netflix. The honor system is basically a on-chain credit score. It's a additional layer on top of the collateral which can be used within transactions on the Rex blockchain. In a scenario where disputes open and where the validators may have decided you're a bad actor, you can be penalized by losing not only your collateral, but also some of your honor rating. And honor is essentially earned by staking the RuneX token and trading within the platform. Having an on-chain credit score system like the honor rating will be another fundamental piece that we think is gonna change the way that, that people think about blockchain. If somebody has a really high honor rating, you're gonna know that this is a person that, that you can trust with maybe a loan, or even if it's just a basic transaction, you know that you don't have to worry about shady activity. With the RuneX token, we've put a lot of thought into how we're gonna increase our market share and really create a booming ecosystem. We've already showed that we can predict where things are going by inventing pre-runes. And now we, we have a prediction where things are going next. So right now with, within the runes ecosystem, meme coins have about 85% plus of the market share, which is great. You know, we all love meme coins. They make our day better and they're extremely fun to be a part of. But where we think things are going next is more to the utility projects that are driving innovation, that are trying to bring new products and new use cases to the world of Web3, because if you take a look at coin market cap, if you look at the top 50 coins, probably only four of them are meme coins. So we know that when retail investors get involved, that most of them are not gonna wanna put half of their net worth into a picture of a dog. They're at least gonna want to invest into companies that are building real products. We essentially wanna position ourselves for that. There's gonna be a ton of big narratives that, that come around in this bull cycle from Web3 gaming to exchanges to L2 blockchains and many more. And we feel that, that we've proven Proved through our track record that we're capable of executing and, and capturing a lot of the value from all of these narratives, which is huge for huge for our community, huge for our believers, and even bigger if we can take the idea of the social contract and, and the Rex Layer 2 blockchain 
and create some new products, some new use cases together with the community. So we really do believe that, that we're on the right path to creating uh, an entire new wave in the, in the industry. We look forward to uh, taking over the world together. Rocks and things is not a thing. Nova King shots, they can't feel a thing. Big racks, big stacks, talking yachts and planes. Made M's, cryptos, talking blocks and chains. First to do it, 